needs him. Godzilla will come for him. Hello, welcome to the channel. Guys, we're here to talk about Godzilla vs. Kong. 15 seconds of new footage. You've seen it already. I've just played it at the start of this video. But we're going to break it down. Because I love it. So if you're not ready for a prolonged video, uh, about 15 seconds of footage, then just click off. I don't want to hear any complaints. I'm happy to just sit here and enjoy. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I really am, like, overjoyed by all of this. Uh, and we had some epic, epic reveals yesterday, uh, which I will leave linked above. They, they were massive reveals uh, from the set visits that took place. And there's going to be even more in the coming days. But like I said, please do go uh, and check out that video. I'll leave it linked above as well as down below in the description box and in a pinned comment. Please go and check it out. If you want to know all the reveals about Mecha Godzilla? Uh, and mm, how King Ghidorah plays into the movie. Mm, check it out. Check it out. Now, this footage is good. Um, it's like, I, I really like this doll. Like, I, I genuinely really like this doll. Uh, because it looks like something someone could fashion. A bit of burlap there. Uh, some twigs and some vines and things like that. It is something which, you know, uh, an iwi... Because uh, Gia, Gia, I think her name is, um, is definitely, you know, an Iwi girl. We have that confirmed now. I still don't understand how she's orphaned, though. I'm thinking all the Iwi die, I guess. I don't know how, but I'm not sure how she would be orphaned. Um, but it's definitely something that the Iwi could fashion. Uh, and it, and it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a cool little doll. Like, it's nice. And it goes to show their personal connection. Because um, Gia uh, is deaf. So she's deaf and uh, she is said to do sign language. We've seen the sign language. She does sign language to uh, Kong. And, uh, and and they're basically, they're good friends. Now, one thing we did learn is, and you can just see it, right? You can just see it. Now, this was learned in the set visits, was this, her necklace, is made from skull crawler teeth. And that was in the Collider set visits that we learned that. Um... They've tried to modernise her costuming, so they've they've got sort of rustic elements, right? Sort of tribal elements. So skull crawler teeth, but she wears Converse because she's been adopted by um, I Eileen or Rebecca. I can't remember which which is the actress's name or the character's name, uh, but it's still cool. It's nice. Um, now this shot I found interesting because I was like, well, where is this then? And I spoke to a friend of the channel, Ellie Moses, and he was like, well, is he, is this, is this Kong's parents? And I was like, um, unlikely. Like, I like the theory, but I think it's unlikely. Like, we've, we've still got the chunk out of the ear, <clears throat> uh, and that is very much, and also the scratch across the face. This is Kong. This is absolutely Kong. Um, but I'm trying to picture kind of where it is. It looks like it's just in Skull Island. But there looks to be almost like lava flow in the background. So I'm a bit like, well, what is that then? But they've, they've masterfully made Kong for this film. This is just some of the best CGI I have seen for a very long time. This CGI is amazing. And this is him doing uh, sign language. You know, we're seeing it there. He is, he is sign signing, I think they call it. Is that the abbreviation? He is signing to... Um, Gia but look at it like just the the way everything moves it's just so amazing they've nailed it they've absolutely nailed it um, and also as well if you if you look at the um, first trailer you look inside his hand you can see the cuts from um, all the blades and stuff that he's had to hold I think it was from the helicopter if I remember rightly uh, he's got cuts all across his hand and they've, they've just, the attention to detail has always been amazing. Even, oh my god, I can't believe I've not noticed this before. But look over here, right? Look at this fur here. And look how it wafts in the wind. Look at this, there. Look. They've got all, each individual hair animation. Now I know you're probably thinking, what are you doing, Mr. H? You're talking about hair animation. It matters. It goes to show that they really do care about what they're creating. Everything is moving there. Look, everything. It's just so... So expertly done. I love it so much. Um, 
Now there's 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 a few shots in this which are completely new. Like that was a new shot, obviously. Now this one. I love this. Like I I absolutely love this. Now a lot of people keep complaining about the scale, and I myself was one of them initially. Um, but it's really important to go back and actually have a look. So 2014's um, Godzilla, the scale was all over the place, and they have since said, yeah, no, we we messed up, and then they corrected it uh, in King of the Monsters. So it's it, the scale is right now, and the aircraft carrier that they're fighting on, although wouldn't have been able to hold them, because that's impossible due to their weight and things like that, uh, it would probably just snap like a twig, but it is definitely bigger than them. Uh, the scaling is actually correct, but this shot is so beautiful. Um, I tell you what, like it's almost, it's almost as if, like it's not, but it's almost as if like it, it, it's sort of burning, like you see steam coming off him. I say I would love that, that he's so nuclear that when he goes through the water, you know, it, it, it's almost like, um, I don't know, some form of like coolant system, like, and it's just whoosh, all the steam. Ah, oh, it'd be so good. But this is a fantastic shot. It's so beautiful. The cinematography is epic. Um, and there's so many things you can do uh, w with this. With the darkness, the colours that are there. There's so much you can do. Now, I don't know where this is. I'm not familiar with what this location is. Um, uh, it's not as neon lit as the ending of the movie. So it's not going to be Hong Kong. Um, I don't know what this bridge is. My my knowledge of this is very, very, like, geographical knowledge is, you know, landmarks is not the best. So I do apologise. But if anyone knows, let me know. Um, and again, like, I, I've said this before. This look on his face there is just so... He's just... He's scared. He's concerned. There's apprehension there. They've nailed it. They've nailed it. Like, that that's amazing. And uh, we also learned from the set visits that they are transporting him back to the hollow earth that's what they're trying to do to get him to go to the hollow earth um it's almost as if like monarch are trying to lure all the titans to the hollow earth that's why they've they've set up a portal basically like a doorway to the hollow earth not a portal portal bay a doorway to the hollow earth um and godzilla uh figures out that kong is there en route and he's like hmm, sod this mate I've never seen you before. I'm going to come and chop you down, which obviously we see here. Um, and this is amazing. I, I, that's just so good. And I am I am always so impressed by this shot here. Because this is obviously... We've seen this now. It's when Godzilla slaps Kong. And he literally does. Like He, he scratches him. I joke when I say he slaps him, but he, he scratches him. And then he instantly starts charging his atomic blast. Like the atomic breath there. That is amazing. And he's ready to go, look. But then, boom, it gets punched out. It gets punched out again. But it's just so awesome. So this is obviously before he can actually strike. Um, so it's before he can do the atomic breath. Because uh, obviously it does take some time to charge. But they are both like on top of their game. Um, and again, it's all fairly even still. They, they've showed it pretty evenly and, and nicely done as well. Um, this shot's really cool. Uh... Always like this shot. He's holding the axe here, which you can't actually see. Yeah, they're just there. Some people have said this is Mecha Godzilla, but this is the axe that he's, that he's got. Uh, it's just uh, beautiful. The cinematography is great. And yeah, look, like it's all you know, it's all fake cameras and fake lighting and stuff like that. But it's still bloody cool. I think it's amazing. Um, and then this shot, I don't like this shot. So we go from here. There's all of the. Uh, Isaac Gonzalez, uh, Millie Bobby Brown, Brian Tyree Henry, Julian Dennison. Um, I, don't, I don't like this shot. This shot is so dumb. Um, I don't get it. <laughs> oh no, now I do. This is what. <laughs> this is why, ladies and gents, we go slow mo. That. That's an aircraft. What the hell? Because when I saw this in the teaser, I was like, oh, this is an, this is an awful shot. Um, but we're following the aircraft. That's why the camera's all wonky. Because as it comes round, it loops round. That's the, that's an HEAV. That's the Hollow Earth anti-gravity vehicle. I love... See, this is why we go frame by frame, ladies and gents. Because it gives us a better reference. That's awesome. So, again, they're, they're far more technologically advanced than they have ever been. Uh, they're really going for it now. 
Uh, a lot of people have said, oh, Godzilla's eyes never light up. That's Mecha Godzilla. No, it's, it's Godzilla. His eyes lit up in um, King of the Monsters. So don't worry about that either. But, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so yeah, massively technologically advanced. Love it. It's cool. Like, you know, this opens up so many more possibilities. I'm one of those people that really like the grounded nature um, of the MonsterVerse, but I'm definitely willing to give it a go. Uh, I don't think this is bad at all. Like, that's I'm, I'm willing to give it a chance. Because if this paves the way for them to bring like the zillions or zillions and things like that, and Biolante and like a little bit more of the outrageous stuff, yeah, like I'm all for it. Uh, and then we've of course seen this shot here, um, and that was it basically. There's nothing else. That was literally it. Um, I'm assuming this is a Japanese one. I could be wrong, um, but I'm thinking it's uh, Japanese. Love it. Like, I, I genuinely do. Absolutely, genuinely do love it. Um, super cool. Super, super cool. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you're new here, please do hit subscribe. You can stay up to date on the world of pop culture movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Please do follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at Mistake Reviews. And if you want to support the channel, you can become a member uh, or you can uh, join up via Patreon. Also, we've got brand new merch, Clown World merchandise. Uh, which you can see linked down below in the description box for my Teespring store. Cheers. Take care.